Okay, uh, let's continue. Eh? Similar. So we continue to the equivalent circuit eh, of the induction motor. Okay, so if you already conquer the uh, transformer, the equivalent circuit of transformer, inshallah, it will be easy for you eh, to get the uh, induction motor equivalent circuit. Eh. Okay, so it's quite similar. Eh? Wait, eh, I present first. Okay, uh, you can see from here, eh, a trans okay, induction motor has a two magnetically coupled circuit, so which is the which are the stator and also the rotor. Eh. Okay, so where the rotor side uh, is short circuit. Eh. So you can imagine eh, the equivalent circuit of the induction motor similar with the transformer. Okay, but at the secondary side it short circuit. Okay. So this is a similar to a transformer that secondary side is rotating but the secondary side is a rotating okay and short circuit so the difference is like that only okay the difference in term of uh, mechanical is quite is different okay rotating secondary side is rotating and short circuit okay but in the circuit are the few things they can change okay then the motor has balanced three phase. Okay, uh, yeah, we talk when we talk about the three phase circuit. So we can represent only the single phase. Uh, okay, representing a single phase is sufficient. Uh. And then both the stator and uh, rotor have the winding. So yeah, as we know, when there is a winding, so they will have the resistance and also the leakage inductance. Okay, connected in series. Eh. So, boleh imagine eh. Sekarang dah boleh imagine eh. So, kita ada circuit. Kita ada resistor. Kita ada inductance. Okay. So, kalau kita tengok yang sebelum ni punya. Oh, ni eh. Macam ni eh. Okay. And then ada cabang. Okay. This one ada RC. And this one is XM. XM. RC. This is uh, X1. This is R1. Okay, boleh imagine eh, benda ni eh, so ada resistance, ada inductance, sama je, okay, untuk first side ni, I can say, same, okay, so a transformer represent the magnetic couple between two circuit eh, so dah ada dua circuit eh, kiri dan kanan lah, left side and also the right side eh, secondary and uh, primary and secondary, so the stator uh, produces a rotating magnetic field, okay, Present magnetic field that induce voltage in the both winding. Eh? So when there is a uh, induced uh, magnetic field, and when there is a magnetic field, so they require a magnetization, magnetizing reactants. Okay, where to produce the magnetic flux, and there is also a resistance, which is the R core. Eh? So connected in parallel, uh, represent the magnetic field generation. So where RC is the losses, eh? eddy current and hysteresis losses in the iron core. And then uh, the induced voltage is depending in, on the slip and the turn ratio. Ah, ni ni uh, point, the key point lah. Eh? The induced voltage is depending on the slip and also the turn ratio. Okay. So the turn ratio for the transformer is, they call it A. So in here they call it as a A effective eh. A effective okay because uh, there is no uh, exact calculation ah dia tak ada macam uh, primary turn uh, okay primary turn turn divide by secondary turn okay ah dia tak ada dia tak ada dia tak ada macam ni lah eh. tapi dia Kind of like this lah. Eh. Boleh katakan macam ni lah. Eh. Tapi it's not important because uh, normally they will automatic give the uh, the turn ratio. Eh. They call this effective ratio. Okay. So this is the uh, model of transformer. Eh. Eh, transformer like induction motor. Eh. 
So at this side, at the left side is the represent the stator, and the right side is represent the rotor. Okay. Where at the rotor, uh, there is a resistance at the core. Okay. So yeah, there is a winding in the resistance. So they call this as uh, there is a uh, yeah when there is a winding, so they will have the resistor uh, resistance and also the Decay, yeah. okay. Uh, so R is present the resistance and XR is represent the reactance of the rotor. So they call this as XR, which is the represent the rotor. Okay, XR, XR, okay, ER. So ER is the um, rotor voltage, yeah. induced voltage. Okay, so you can see here uh, the secondary side is short circuit eh? short circuit tu dah ok so dia dia tak ada terbuka lah ok so the primary side they call it as a uh, yeah there is a resistance leakage It's quite similar eh this one is similar with the uh, transformer eh ok so yeah this is uh, VP actually since there are three phase Okay, since uh, the inductance is three phase, and this one VP actually is equal to V phase. Okay, it's V phase, eh? Okay, I think VP here is a V phase. Eh? Okay, it's not a V line, eh? It's not V line. It's the V phase. Okay, so kalau soalan tu, if the question give you uh, the supply voltage in line, so you need to convert eh, to V phase. Okay, so this is the transformer model eh, of an induction motor. So we compare the magnetization uh, curve. Okay, Mag magnetization curve uh, between transformer and induction motor. Eh. So we we saw before eh, the transformer there is a saturation curve. Okay, however for the induction motor uh, there will be uh, reduce okay okay dia dia memerlukan uh, current yang tinggi lah eh. so if you can see from here uh, at a particular phase eh, at a particular flux okay for example here okay the current requirement is different eh. okay. at this point so this is I1 this is I2 okay which is uh, induction motor induction motor required uh, more current eh, compared to transformer eh, for certain uh, for certain current eh, for certain uh, flux ok so actually this is due to the air gap eh, it's due to the air gap ok in the induction motor eh. So without air gap, so the motor will not moving eh, because they stuck kan, eh. the friction tak boleh lah. So they mesti ada air gap. So to design, uh, they, 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 they must be a suitable air gap eh, space for yeah for the motor to move to get the uh, sufficient or optimize uh, torque. Okay. Okay. Yeah, why uh, the the magnetization is less compared to transformer is due to the air gap, eh? Okay, so more magnetization current is needed. Eh? So when current when more current is needed, uh, of course uh, the comparison is not A to A lah. Okay, apple to apple gila. Lah. Okay, so bila more current, which mean uh, more hot ah, eh? higher current. Higher current, uh, higher tem higher temperature. Okay, higher temperature. Okay, so we need to be careful, lah. Okay. So the primary impedance and the magnetization current of the induction motor are very similar eh, to the corresponding component in the transformer equivalent circuit. Eh. So at the primary side, uh, the impedance will be the similar. Eh. 
So induction motor differ from the equivalent circuit of transformer in term of the effect of varying frequency. Okay. Ha, so ini yang penting lah. So ya yeah, transformer kita easily can uh, transfer eh, secondary side to the primary side. We can easily transfer. Okay. Or convert. But at the secondary side, uh, at, secondary side at the induction motor we cannot easily transfer. Okay, so this is because at this side, okay, this side, okay, at the stator side, they uh, generate, uh, they uh, generate at the frequency electric, okay. At this side, the frequency is different, okay. So this side is fr. Okay, so we cannot easily convert. Okay, we cannot easily convert. So we need to do some click calculation first uh, to merge or to convert the frequency, and then we can convert. Okay. So as mentioned before, uh, yeah, the induced voltage is depending on the slip and turn ratio. So this is important point. So we need to convert. Okay, I think dah, 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 dah tengok kan tadi yang frekuensi tu ah, ni. So this frekuensi, ah, so they were using at this point lah. So we need to change uh, FR S FE. So kita kena convert kan. So this part we need to use this equation and then we can convert. Okay. Okay, so yeah, the, the effect ah, the motor voltage dia and also the impedance lah. Okay. So at the rotor circuit model eh, so the magnitude of the induced voltage is directly proportional. Okay. So at induced voltage eh, induced voltage rotor is directly proportional to the slip. Okay. So largest during the lock. Okay, so imagine eh. Um, Macam mana saya nak gambarkan kat sini. Eh? So, during lock. Eh? So, during lock. Uh, mana, okay. So, Nm is equal to zero. Okay. So, dia tak bergerak kan. So, bila tak bergerak. Uh, Nm tak bergerak. So, S is equal to one. Okay. So, when there is uh, not moving. Okay. When there is, uh, when the rotor is not moving the induced voltage is at maximum the induced voltage actually is at maximum because the the more uh, magnetic field passes through uh, the 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 sucral case uh, the case uh, the coil dalam tu so, dia tak bergerak so dia akan produce higher uh, so higher so bila dia produce higher induced voltage so dia akan produce higher current so bila dia produce higher current dia akan produce highest force when uh, they produce highest force, they will generate the highest stop. So, bila highest stop, motor akan start moving. Lah. So, once motor dah move, so kita boleh nampak kan. So, stop tu akan makin lama, makin berkurangan. Lah. Okay. Sebab dia daripada macam kereta kan. Kereta yang tak bergerak, kita nak tolak, kita memerlukan force yang tinggi. Okay. So, once bila kereta dah, bergerak, dah bertolak, kita memerlukan force yang rendah yang untuk kita tolak. Okay. So, itu konsep dia lah. So, bila dia tak, bila dia tak, when there is not moving, okay, so ER is equal to E, dia panggil uh, log, okay, so which mean the uh, E maximum lah, okay, maximum voltage, okay, while NM equal to uh, synchronous speed, so S, equal to zero ni bukan so and then uh, ER will be zero ok so bila dah gerak the, the magnetic field tak pass through lah. so tak pass through the rotor so kalau dia gerak sekali kan so bergerak sekali macam mana dia nak tolak macam mana dia nak produce nak, nak induce kan voltage tu so tak induce voltage lah kosong ok so ini dia punya uh, persamaan dia lah. dia macam linear je sebenarnya ok dia macam linear lah ok 
So kalau kita buat uh, linear tu Kita tengok S So bila ni S kosong E kosong So bila S satu Ni E max So linear okay. So apa equation linear? Ah, itulah Y equal to MX Plus C kan C ni 0 So MX je So dia punya S E R O Macam tu lah Okay this is E E lah E max je Okay so this is the equation eh So then Kita dah nampak dia punya relation eh Ada S untuk E R tadi Okay untuk E R tadi kita dah nampak So what happen to the Uh, inductance okay. Sebab inductance tu pun Bergantung kepada frekuensi Inductance ha, Inductance tu bergantung kepada frekuensi While R R is constant okay. R is constant eh. Resistor uh, Kalau macam uh, Resistor Ataupun resistant Inside the coil So inside the wire uh, is depend on the Area and Length So it's constant It's not depending on the Frekuensi So XR is equal to uh, So what is the in, apa, Reactance formula Is equal to uh, Angular velocity of the rotor And also the inductance lah. okay, in This one in Henry ya. Okay, Inductor Henry ya. So and then we uh, To open the Angular velocity So we find out the FR over here Okay so FR we change to the FR S S E eh. So kita try to buka lah. Okay kita try to simplify Okay And then kita akan dapat lah Okay so we get the uh, 2 pi F E uh, S S L R Okay So 2 Kita keluarkan S Okay ni 2 pi F E L R Okay So this point is At the maximum eh So this is the L R O So this is S X R O Okay At the maximum uh, frequency eh? So this is X R Okay So once we get this one We can convert eh? And then uh, Kita kena buatkan Uh, kita buat macam ni dulu eh. Kita ada skirt Nanti ada lelaki ada tadi ya. Ha tu dia Okay Tak apa kan ni lah Okay So kita dah ada skirt yang secondary tu yang Secondary side We just uh, represent eh uh, we Replace lah XR And juga RR Okay we change uh, Kita boleh calculate dia punya impedance lah eh Untuk impedance tu kita buat lah uh, Kecof voltage law Okay, we will get uh, ER equal to uh, IR RR plus JXR. Okay, and then we try to uh, change. Okay, so this is uh, SR, this is IR, this is RR plus JSXRO. Okay, and then we get the Z lah. So, kita dah ada E, kita ada I, so kita boleh ada impedance je lah. Kita nak tengok impedance je. Okay. So, ini dia punya impedance lah. Okay, so ini yang tadi tu bila dah dapat sini, kita change balik lah kat sini. Okay. So, kita boleh dah nampak lah dia punya uh, R tu. Okay. So, you boleh imagine lah eh, R, I ni, the value of I, kalau S ni berubah. Okay. So if the S is increase, the S is decrease, you can imagine. So when S is increase, what happen to the I? What happen to the I when S is increase? Hello? When S is increase, what happen to the I? The I will be Please. increase. Ah, huh? apa tadi, Muhammad? Muhammad no? Increase. Increase. 
so when I, when uh, s increase i will be increase okay so s decrease i also will be decrease eh? okay So once we get the uh, equivalent circuit uh, in both side, eh? okay. So we get the both side. Uh, we are ready uh, using the same frequency. So at the secondary side, we'll uh, uh, represent in terms of the S, okay. And then we can convert, okay. Similar, bukan similar lagi. The same. Uh, procedure eh? like a transformer eh? so ni macam sama lah ok so refer to the circuit to the status side ok similar to transformer eh? secondary refer to the primary eh? ok so ni kalau transformer kalau kita nak convert kan uh, Vs ni kepada kita nak moving kepada Vs nak moving kan dan secondary ni kepada uh, primary side ok same goes to the I lah. I tu kita nak moving kan kepada second, primary side. And also the impedance lah eh. So kita kena ingat eh. Kita guna RO eh. Kita tak guna yang E1 tadi. Kita tak gunakan ER. So we use the ERO tadi. Okay. Convert. Okay. Same goes to the I. Okay. And same goes to the impedance lah eh. Okay. So after all we get uh, the final uh, circuit lah final equivalent circuit okay where x2 is equal to a e f f out of 2 a e x r o okay and r2 r2 is equal to a e f f out of 2 and by r okay so ni kena ingat lah okay uh, however in the in the induction motor we cannot simply moving uh, simply move this uh, part eh. we can simply move this part to this side eh. we cannot eh. ok so yeah because of the primary because the air gap tadi tu lah so bila the air gap bila the no load so bila dia no load dia memerlukan current yang tinggi eh so, memerlukan current yang tinggi so yeah so the magnetization current at the no load is not very low okay like a transformer we can we can ignore okay so dia ada current lah so uh, dia uh, 30 to 40 percent lah eh? 30 to 40 percent compare to the uh, full load punya uh, current Okay, so any question? Please, please ask me, please. <laughs> okay, if no question, uh, I will share to you the video after this. Uh, and please continue to study up to this point. Eh? This is uh, sikit je, okay? It's not very much, okay? Okay, just uh, the, the equation, okay, just equation and also the some formula, eh? okay, and so very easy, don't worry, so I, I provided the link and then kita akan ada quiz, I think quiz ni kita akan buat uh, uh, next week lah, eh? because this week you will have the test and I don't want to disturb you, but uh, I will publish this quiz so you can start to do it. Okay, I will uh, stop. The due date, I think, is uh, next Thursday. Uh, next Thursday, I think, it's, it's okay. It's fair, lah, inshallah. Okay, thank you.